All right, so this right here is a AI voice agent that I created using Miller's AI with a latency of only 600 milliseconds. Hello, how can I assist you today? Uh, I want to know what are the services that Astro offers? Just a moment. Astro K, Joseph offers a variety of web design and development services, including one, custom website design, secure websites with the latest All right, all right, so four. how much does it cost? Astro offers several pricing plans based on the type of website. One, basic website. Price, 500 or 1,000 dollars. So can I set up a meeting with Astro so that I can discuss uh, other details? Sure, I can help you set up a meeting with Astro. Let me check the available meeting slots. Monday, December 9th, 9 o'clock in the morning. 9.15 in the morning. 9 o'clock in the morning will work. Great. I'll book the meeting for you on Monday, December the 9th. Your meeting with Astro has been su successfully scheduled for Monday, December the 9th at 9 to a.m. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. No, I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything else in the future. How amazing, right? I mean, the ultra low latency of the AI voice agent makes it almost feel like you're talking to a real human. So today in this video, I will show you how you can create a custom ultra low latency AI voice agent in less than five minutes. For this, we are going to use Millis AI and the best part is its ultra low latency of only just 600 milliseconds. So whenever you're talking to your AI agent, it almost feels like you're talking to a real human without any weird gaps or delays. Furthermore, Millis AI allows you to select an LLM model or AI model of choice from OpenAI, Llama and Mistral and also select a natural sounding voice for your next AI voice agent. And now the interesting part is that you can also go ahead and integrate your AI voice agent with any other CRM calendar or in a SaaS platform using their API. And that's also included all within Miller's AI bundle. Now without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in and see how to create your next AI voice agent. All right, so this right here is Miller's AI and this is the platform that we're going to use to create our next voice agent. And the first thing that I want you to do is to visit the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account at millis.ai. And in the homepage itself, you can see build next gen voice agents with 600 millisecond latency. And that is one of the main USP of this one right here. And if you further scroll down, you'll be able to find a lot more details related to Millis AI, its integrations and a bunch of other use cases as well. And now as we further scroll down, you can see you can select any LLM model of your choice or even connect your custom LLM model, select a natural sounding voice from 11 labs, play HD or even Cartesia for that matter. And the best part of all, you can literally go ahead and deploy your voice agent that you create using Millis AI and connect it to a phone number for inbound and outbound deployment or you can also go ahead and deploy it to your website or mobile app okay now the first thing that I want to do is to create an account on Millis AI and sign into your dashboard and now as soon as you sign into your account this is going to be the interface that you will be treated with and this is where we are going to create our AI voice agent so first of all go ahead and select this option that says voice agent and click on the add button and now a pop-up will appear asking you to enter the name for your agent and for this one I'll go ahead and say VA. So basically I'm trying to create a AI voice agent to be my virtual assistant so it will have details related to everything that I do and whenever a person comes to my website they can access and talk to this voice agent and get to know every services that I offer and even book a meeting slot with me okay I'll show you all that in a bit so I'll go ahead and click on this option that says create agent so as you can see our AI voice agent is ready and there are a couple of customizations that we need to do and the first thing that you want to do is to click on this edit button next to general details I'll click on it and you can go ahead and change the name if you want to and also put a custom system prompt in here but for now I'll go ahead and keep it as it is and this right here is what I've been talking about so Millis AI allows you to select the whatever AI model that you want to use and if you click on this drop down menu you'll be able to select uh, whichever one that you want for example by default it will be set as by Millis optimized for best latency and if you want to try out a different one for your use case let's say GPT 3.5 turbo 4o or 4o mini or even um, llama 3.18 b you can go ahead and select it from here but for now I'll go ahead and keep it as by Millis optimized for best latency and next up you gotta go ahead and configure your AI agent voice settings and the first thing that you gotta do is to select the language and by default English is selected and if you want to set up your voice agent in a different 
language you can go ahead and click on this uh, drop down menu and select whatever language and they have more than 60 plus languages so you can go ahead and select the one depending on your workflow and similarly if you want your ai voice agent to be multilingual you can go ahead and enable it from here and now as you further scroll down this is the most important part and that is you can give a custom voice to your ai agent okay now there are different providers like 11 labs uh Cartesia and play hd and you're free to select whatever voice that you want and if you want to take things to the next level uh, Millis AI also gives you the option to add your own 11 labs custom voice so you can click on this option right here this form and go ahead and submit the details and get your custom voice and set it as your uh, voice for the AI agent and to, if you click on this drop down menu you will be able to find the providers from here and for now I'll go ahead and select as 11 labs best and if you want to select a different provider for example let's say OpenAI real time Cartesia play HD or Deepgram you can go ahead and select it from here and now if I click on this drop down menu right here I'll be able to select the specific voice that I want to use and also preview the same so for example the default one here is racial and if I click on this play button I'll be able to listen to a preview change in all things is sweet so this is how Rachel sound and if you want to try out a different one for example let's say Amelia from here I can click on that one and press the play button hi I'm Amelia a super high quality English voice I love to read seriously I'm a total bookworm so what are you waiting for? Get me reading. All right, so Amelia looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and select it as Amelia. And if you want to, you can go ahead and further customize it. And for now, I'll go ahead and click on the save changes option. And now if you further scroll down, you'll be able to find a section called agent knowledge. And this is where you can upload documents to enrich your voice agent's knowledge base. So you'll be creating your AI voice agent for a specific use case or task, right? So in this context, I'm trying to create a virtual assistant. So the virtual assistant will have knowledge about everything I do. So let's say I'm a web designer. So I've created a PDF file containing all the details as to what I do, what are the plans and pricing, what are my uh, rates or how much do I charge for creating a website and what is the availability and all other details. So all I'm going to do in this context is that I'll go ahead and upload that PDF document. Now, depending on your use case, you will also have an extensive list of documents, right? So you can go ahead and drop it in here. And whenever the AI agent talks or communicates with anyone, the AI agent will have pretty much every knowledge that you passed in its context and it will be able to pull the uh, relevant answers and answer the same. So all I got to do is to click on this option that says add document and a pop up something like this will appear. And as you can see, I have already added a sample document in here. And if you want to add a new one, you can simply click on this upload new document option and a pop-up will appear asking you to drag and drop the file. And now as for the accepted formats, you can upload CSV, JSON, TXT and PDF files. For example, I can simply go ahead and drag and drop a PDF file, select it and enter a description and click on the upload button. Now I've already done that. And as you can see, this is the PDF file that I've added. And again, I gave it a description saying I'm a web designer and this PDF contains all the details like what do I do, what technology and tools I use and what are my rates, what are the packages and blah, blah, blah stuff. And once you add your document, it will appear in here and you can click on the add button to add it. Okay. Now I have the uh, document added in here and I can click on save. All right. So now the voice agent that we are about to create will have pretty much all the details within this PDF files in its knowledge base and it can refer to that and answer the questions accordingly. And now as you further scroll down, you will find two more important sections and that is function calling and app functions. So if you want to add additional capabilities to your AI voice agent and make it interact with external APIs and pull data or do stuff like that, you can go ahead and create a new action in here. So I can go ahead and click on this create action option. You can enter a function name and description and as for the selecting the function type you have two options and they are webhook and web form. So webhook as you might already know it is used to send or retrieve information to an external service using webhooks. So you can go ahead and put your webhook URL in here, uh, select the get or post method, add header parameters and configure the same. And you also have another option that says web form. So let's say someone is interacting with your AI voice agent and you want to let's say accept uh, input from the user let's say it is their email address phone number or any other details now you can set up a web form in here and put let's say get user email in here and a description as well and you can put a name in here and also select the type and click on create so let's say a scenario comes where the ai agent needs the number of the user so a pop-up will appear on the screen and the user can go ahead and enter the number and for this ai agent that i'm creating right now i don't need function calling but i'm going to integrate app functions and now what exactly is app functions 
functions you ask you can easily integrate third party apps such as cal.com and add special function calls to your voice agent i mean let me show you what i'm talking about so i'll go ahead and click on this option that says add app function and i'll get a pop-up with two options and that is get available meeting slots and also book meeting slot so the ai voice agent that i'm creating is a virtual assistant okay now whenever and i'll also go ahead and add it to my website so whenever a person visits my website they will be able to find a widget where they can talk to this ai voice agent that i'm creating right now and if they want to let's say the user wants to fix or set a meeting with me they can go ahead and directly tell the ai voice agent that okay i want to set up a meeting with astro and now the ai agent will go ahead and go through all my availability list and everything else and it will directly fetch all these details from cal.com and tell it to the user and the user can select a time and then the ai agent will ask for the email of the user and once configured the ai agent will set up a meeting between that person and me and now all of these is set up through cal.com api and i will show you how to set up the same so first of all i'll go ahead and click on this option that says add next to get available meeting slots so i can click on this add option and now a pop-up will appear asking me to enter the api key and the event type id and now these two things that i need to get from cal.com so i went ahead and signed it to my cal account and the first thing that i gotta do is to grab my api key and how do i get that you ask well i can click on the settings option from here and click on api keys and there you should be able to get your API key. So I'll go ahead and click on this add option. And for this one, let's say, I'll give it a name as agent and I'll enable this option that says never expires and click on save. And now I'll get my API key. So I'll go ahead and copy it and now head back to Millis AI and put the API key in here. And similarly, you also need to get your event type ID as well. And now how do you get your event type ID? You can head back to cal.com. Let me go back. And you gotta select this option that says event types and select the event that you want to add to uh, Millis AI. For example, I want to add this 15 minutes meeting. So I'll go ahead and click on it. And you will be able to find your event ID in the URL. Okay. Now this right here is the, let's say the ID. So I'll go ahead and copy it and head back to Millis AI and paste it in here. Okay. And I can click on the update option. Similarly, I'll also go ahead and add this book meeting slot option. So I can click on the add button and enter the API key paste the type ID and also select a user contact method. So I'm planning to integrate it into my website. So I'll go ahead and select it as email. And if you want to integrate it with your phone number, you can go ahead and select this phone option. I'll click on update. All right. Now, both of these are added. I can click on the close button. And as you can see, we have added two app functions in here. And the first one is book meeting slot. And the second one is get available meeting slots. And if you further scroll down, you'll be able to adjust and configure the webhook settings. So let's say you want to send a request to a webhook or an API endpoint even before the conversation starts or after the conversation ends, you can go ahead and customize and set all the details in here. So for prefetching a data from a webhook, it will send a get request. And for after the conversation ends, you can also go ahead and set up a end of call webhook and that will be using a post request. So depending on your use case, you can go ahead and configure the same in here. And now as you further scroll down, you can go ahead and adjust the conversation flow settings. Now let's say you want your users to start first, you can go ahead and enable this option. So by default, your AI agent will be the first one to talk. I mean, when you press the start button and if you want to change, you can go ahead and change the greeting line. If you want to add a response delay, you can add that. And even if you want to add an option where the AI agent can terminate the call, you can also enable that. And next one important thing that I got to do is to set up my time zone. So I can click on this option that says agent time zone and select the time zone. And for this one, I'll go ahead and select it as Asia Calcutta. And if you want to enable call recording, you can go ahead and enable it. And let's say, yeah. Okay, now that's pretty much all I wanted to change and I can click on the save option and believe it or not, my AI voice agent is pretty much all good to go and is ready. And now if you want to start using your AI agent, you can find a preview towards the right side. And if you click on the start button, you will be able to talk to your voice agent. So let me quickly show you how. So I'll go ahead and click on the start option. Hello, how can I assist you today? Uh, I want to know what are the services that Astro offers. Just a moment. Astro K. Joseph offers a variety of web design and development services, including one, custom website design, creating unique brand aligned designs. Two, responsive design, ensuring websites look great on all devices. Three, web development, building scalable and secure websites with the latest. All right. All right. So. Four, how much does it cost? 
Astro offers several pricing plans based on the type of website. One, basic website. Price, 500 euros or 1,000 dollars. Includes up to five pages, responsive design, basic SEO, free domain and hosting setup. Delivery time, seven days, two. Advanced website. Price, 1,000, 3,000 on. Includes up to 10 pages. All right. Okay. So if you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. So can I set up a meeting with Astro so that I can discuss uh, other details? Sure. I can help you set up a meeting with Astro. Let me check the available meeting slots. Astro has several available meeting slots next week. Here are some options. Monday, December 9th, 9 o'clock in the morning. 9.15 in the morning. 9 o'clock in the morning will work. Great. I'll book the meeting for you on Monday, December the 9th at 9 o'clock a.m. Could you please provide your name and email address for the booking? My name is Jack and my email is jack at the rate gmail.com. Great. Finalizing the meeting set up now. Your meeting with Astro has been su successfully scheduled for Monday, December the 9th at 9 to a.m. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. No, I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything else in the future. See, this is how simple it is to interact with the AI voice agent. So I literally went ahead and asked what are the services that Astro offers and it referred to the document that I uploaded in the agent knowledge section. So it went through the document, found all the relevant details and told the same. Okay. And now similarly, I wanted to book a meeting with Astro or the person behind whatever uh, agent that you are. And let's say I want to book a meeting. So I went ahead and asked it, I want to book a meeting with the person and it went ahead and searched through my cal.com availability slots. Uh, listed all the availability and asked me which is the perfect time so i went ahead and told okay 9 a.m and it took my name and email and scheduled a meeting for me as well and as you can see when i went to my gmail you can see the meeting between me and jack the one that i scheduled right now and you can find all the details in here as well now that's how easy it is to set up your ai voice agent using miller's ai and now that i have configured my ai voice agent and pretty much everything is working and let's say i want to add it to a page on my website okay now let's say a wordpress website so similarly you can also go ahead and add it to your mobile app by referring to the documentation and with a few lines of code even if you are a non-technical person you can go ahead and add and integrate it into your website for example let's say i want to embed this ai voice agent onto my wordpress blog so i'll quickly show you how we can do that and for that you can click on this option that says actions and click on embed to public site option and now it will give you a embed code all right so all i gotta do is to copy this one from here so i'll copy the entire code so I'm on my WordPress dashboard and I went ahead and created a new page with the title learn more and all I got to do is to put the HTML code block and paste whatever code that I copied from Millis AI that is this code right here. So I'll go ahead and put it in here click on the save option and if I open this page in a new tab I should be able to find my AI voice agent here. Now this is just a basic example. So depending on your use case, you can go ahead and add it as a floating widget or wherever you want to, even in your mobile app for that matter. And to start using it, just go ahead and click on the start option and that's it. All right, so that's how simple it is to create a AI voice agent using your custom knowledge and integrate app functions and function calling and various other features. And now if you want to, you can either deploy it to your mobile app website or even set up a phone number and set up a phone agent and you can go ahead and link your AI voice agent and have it talk to people on a phone as well. Now, when compared with other AI voice agents and providers out there, Miller's AI agent is by far the cheapest option with minimum latency and that is one thing cool or cool thing that I liked a lot about uh, Miller's AI and the ultra low latency of only 600 milliseconds almost makes it feel like as if I'm talking to a real human without any gap or weird delay so that's also one USP of Miller's AI for that matter and if you want to create your AI agent all you gotta do is to head over to Miller's AI and sign up for a new account and you can start uploading your documents configure all the app functions or function calling 
thing and you can have your ai voice agent done and ready in less than five minutes so that's basically all i wanted to show you in this video so i went ahead created a ai agent and also deployed it onto my wordpress website all in less than 10 15 minutes i guess and this is how simple it is to get started with millis ai so all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account and spin up your ai voice agent and start using it right away so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one